Hey guys, I got an awesome video for you today. There have been so many awesome jailbreak tweak releases in just the past few days that I wanted to share with you now that you guys have that shiny new jailbreak on iOS 10.2. So whether you're on 10.1.1 or 10.2, this will work on all of them, but so many cool jailbreak tweaks. Let's get into it. And I just want to warn you guys, most of these jailbreak tweaks do require custom sources as Cydia just isn't accepting payments yet. So you'll have to download them from their respective repositories and I'll leave those down below in the description. Anyways, let's jump into the very first one, which is Horseshoe. So it has long been rumored to go ahead and happen and finally been released. So let me get a song going here. And uh, anyways, it combines your control center into one page, how it should have been from the beginning. So you'll get four buttons down here. And depending on whether or not you have Noctis installed, you'll just have three, but it's a very, very clean look. I absolutely love it. So you've got your media player controls over here, which you can easily go through. But how do you change brightness? Simple. Just go ahead and click on the little icon right there and it shifts to the brightness icon. So you can go ahead and change that. Very, very neat. So uh, this is probably one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks so far, especially when you have Noctis on it. Now, another control center tweak that is part of this whole circle is platters. So platters basically takes your recent applications from your multitasking pane and puts them here so you can see what you have open and quickly go through them. You can also 3D touch on them and close the app. And I'm not really sure what background up does. Oh, it makes it run in the background. On the other page, you can go ahead and set favorite apps. It'll go ahead and ask you to click on another app and it sets it in there. If you wanna delete it, go ahead and 3D touch on it and you can remove it. And additionally, another control center little tweak is called wormhole. So wormhole puts shortcuts up on the very top row of icons in your control center. So for example, the most important one, the one, uh, the reason I installed it is if you actually 3D touch on the do not disturb icon, you get an option to quickly respring your device. Also, if you 3D touch on Wi-Fi, you can actually input a custom URL to visit every time you go ahead and click on it. So if you have any secret websites you want to visit, you can hide them in here. Also, 3D touching on the airplane icon goes into settings if you so choose. I was very, very happy to see this one return to a jailbroken device. So on iOS 10, you can now fully customize your icons up here in the control center using Flip Control Center. So this is a beta version that does happen to work on iOS 10 as CC settings, which is what I used before, doesn't work at the moment. How cool is this? Expand your control center toggles and have them display any one you want. Really, you can add custom toggles even. You can change the way that they sit in here. So, so cool. And if you guys actually have a wormhole installed, there is a very funny side effect. So when you 3D touch all those icons, it no longer does what it was supposed to, but instead goes into the setting of that icon. And I'm not sure if this is because a wormhole is doing this or because this is a feature built into Flip Control Center, but that seems to be the case. So for Wi-Fi, It'll go into the Wi-Fi settings. So go ahead and 3D touch on those icons. And it'll take you there. Kind of cool. So a turnum is back. And this is what it looks like on iOS 10. This is basically your Apple Watch interface on your device on your iPhone. So you can actually zoom out and rearrange them, play around with it. Now this is called a turnum beta hives or a turnum hives beta. And it's usually in a different orientation where it comes in clumps of hexagons but this is the original layout. Kind of cool, not something I would personally use because I hate searching for apps, but I'm sure you'll get used to it with time. Uh, kind of a, a nice switch from the usual grid layout that we're so used to. And talking about layout changes, here's another cool one. This is Boxy 3 Beta. So it does work on iOS 10, basically to change settings of your actual icons on your home screen, just slide up and you get this little layout. So you can go to the default, which basically clumps all of your apps together in the middle of the display. Kind of an interesting look, but you can change that. So let's try the center spread. It's kind of cool how on the spot it changes right there. Not many city of tweaks do that. Uh, let's try an even spread. I kind of like this one. So this kind of gives it more of an iPhone plus version feeling. All of your icons are spread apart more. And then you can do the top half just like this which is kind of cool. You can layer and layer and layer them as many apps as you want. So it's a bit hectic and chaotic, but kind of an interesting change. And this is dark messages. So just as the name suggests, it makes your messages app completely dark inside. So I kind of like this alongside Noctis because it's not obnoxiously bad in every single application, but it's dark where it counts. Now my keyboard kind of ruins the image here, but everything, the it's completely dark mode over here 
and the interface for it is really, really nice, easy on the eyes, especially when texting at night. Next up is Taptic Keys. Now, I actually did mention this one in my last video, but it's since been updated because a lot of people were having trouble getting it to work, and I wanted to make sure you guys knew it does work perfectly, and it is awesome. I highly recommend it. So it basically gives you a Taptic or Haptic feedback when using your keyboard now, just like an Android phone. And next up is Anemone. It allows you to theme your springboard just like before on Winterboard, but it's a more modern version of it. However, it's currently not working on iOS 10.2. A lot of people are trying to install it and they don't know how to get it working. So I'm going to show you how to install themes using this tweak. And it's a very simple fix to get it to work, to get an enemy to actually install a theme. So in Cydia, I want you guys to add a custom source. Uh, you will need to install it and then search for Rocket Bootstrap. So this is the beta version that allows an enemy theming platform to work. And I would highly recommend this one to everyone iCleaner. So the latest stable version for iOS 10 was just released, version 7.6.0. And upon running it, I actually cleared 800 megabytes on a 16 gigabyte device. That is significant. So it will go ahead and clear cached files, junk files, uh, even over the air updates if you don't want to keep them around. There's a lot it will do. And for any jailbreaker, this is a must. This is like a staple of jailbreaking. And next up is Rocket for Instagram. So it's a tool used to supercharge your Instagram experience. You can actually uh, switch from list to grid view on your feed, which is really, really neat. Uh, there's a lot it can do. It basically hacks Instagram the way that Snapchat plus plus would work. You can do a lot of cool things in here. So you can actually change and add badges like the official badge to your device. So over here in spoofing, you can change how many followers you have verified profiles. I basically will get it right there. Really, really neat. You can save images from other people without them ever knowing you could look at profiles and uh, you can actually see if they're following you back, which is really, really neat in here, go ahead and save it full resolution. And if you hold on the image, you can actually look at it in full resolution that Instagram has really, really neat. Next up is one that impressed me very, very much. It's called app admin, and it allows you to downgrade versions of any application as long as Apple is still signing in app store. For example, I downgraded Snapchat to version 1.0 back when it was called Peekaboo uh, before we know it now as Snapchat. That's crazy. So the way it works is you actually go to the app you want to, uh, downgrade or update or anything really. And this is especially useful for things like Snapchat++ where it doesn't work in the latest version or Phantom for Snapchat. It stopped working in the latest 10.0 version. So just hold on the update or open button and you can select downgrade. And so let's downgrade to a hackable version, 9.45.3. And the animation you guys are seeing while I'm using my phone is called Sleek and Bouncy. So it was just updated and it works very, very well on iOS 10. It makes your device feel very, very fast, very springy. I love the animation style. So when you actually unlock your device and opening and closing apps, you get this springy effect. And if you guys want to go completely overboard, you can remove the animations completely with Speedy. So this is just like that one glitch uh, back on iOS 8 that allows you to completely remove animations from your device so opening closing apps there's just no animation whatsoever and it's actually kind of nice it it actually speeds up your device more than you think just by removing that and i don't know if you guys noticed that but up there i actually have the zelda hearts as my battery meter and this is such a cool touch i'm in love with this tweaking application uh, for your battery meter it's called lithium ion and there's lots of themes that you can choose from so primary theme I have the hearts from Zelda over here, but there's a bunch of little other ones and I'm sure you can download more uh, from Cydia. But basically there are the themes, the color options are down here. And uh, yeah, it's just like alkaline, but a little bit more extensive, tweak your battery meter. And of course, to achieve the little Zelda shield over there, I had to use Zeppelin. So I wanted to give you guys a little tip about using Zeppelin on iOS 10. If you want to use the carrier text, you need to press space eight times before typing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you go ahead and type whatever you want. But I do have a theme enabled right now. But of course, you can download many packs from Cydia. So how did I get picture in picture in the video? This is Grasshopper right here. So it works just like video pane, but on iOS 10. You can actually resize it, make it really, really tiny, put it where you want, stick it, and continue doing your thing. Just like the iPad picture in picture feature, this one is just for iPhone. And man, does it work good. Now take note, this doesn't work in the YouTube application unless you have YouTube Red. Otherwise, it will work in Safari and any other media player. And while we're in Safari, here's Swipenizer. So it allows you to expand your Safari features a lot. You can actually swipe to respring 
or uh, refresh the page in here, swipe to go back to the top of the page, you can actually hold on a link and it will open it up in the background without popping up like Apple's does. And uh, really, really neat. There are so many features using this. I'm not even covering half of them. And Peekaboo has been updated. This is the tweak Apple does not want you to have. Uh, so you can go ahead and buy the 6S and iPhone 7 to get. So this is a tweak that allows you to get 3D touch in any area that you would have it on the iPhone 6 and uh, 6S and 7 anyways. So peek and pop, preview, links, photos, apps, even in the control center, you can do it here uh, to do the very same features as you would have on an iPhone 6S and 7. How cool is that? And the very last one is badge clearer. So when you open up an app now, after installing this, you have the option to clear the badges. Now you won't get this just on any app. It's only if that app does have a badge on it. So if I wanna go ahead and clear those, you can do that. This also does apply to the over the air update in settings, you can clear it off finally. And that's it for now, guys. Those are 20 new jailbreak tweaks that work with iOS 10. I'm super excited for more tweaks to come. I'm actually looking forward to type status, uh, color flow, and phantom light for snapchat all three of those are being updated as we speak so uh, i'll see you guys in the next tweak video then peace